layer one blockchain solutions like Ethereum and alternative layer ones like Solana, Avalanche and scaling solutions like Polygon are some of the hottest blockchains in the crypto ecosystem. More importantly, the applications built on top of these blockchains are creating a new world order for the financial system. DeFi or decentralized finance is a popular phrase for a group of financial tools built on a blockchain with the idea to allow anyone with access to the internet to borrow and lend money without going through middlemen like brokers and banks. Instead, these tools, or you can call them dApps or decentralized apps, are permissionless where everything is automated in the protocol using smart contracts. A smart contract, as discussed in previous videos, is self-executing code that's designed to perform a set of instructions and automatically enforce terms of an agreement. So, what are some of the basic types of DeFi applications? Well, to begin with, there's lending and borrowing. So let's say you need to take out a loan. In the traditional finance world, you have to go through a cumbersome process with a bank with a lot of paperwork and collateral in the form of assets. You may even have to submit proof of employment. In the DeFi world, you can do this directly and instantly using decentralized applications like MakerDAO, Compound, and Aave. These platforms facilitate lending and borrowing without the need of an intermediary. Lenders do this in exchange for interest and as a way to earn assets through yield farming, where they lock up funds in a pool of assets to earn rewards. Borrowers need to be a bit careful though, as most DeFi protocols require users to over collateralize, which means put up an amount higher than the one you want to borrow. If the value of your asset falls, which very much could be a possibility, given that crypto assets can be volatile, the protocol may take your collateral to avoid losses. Next up is trading. With centralized exchanges like Wazirx and CoinDCX, you are relying on the exchange to take custody of your assets with each trade. Decentralized exchanges like Uniswap and PancakeSwap remove the intermediary and allow people to trade directly with each other. And finally, there are derivatives. Platforms like DYDX and Synthetix allow users to make leveraged trades or even create synthetic assets that mimic traditional stocks and commodities. So how do you start using these dApps? Well, first you're going to need a crypto-enabled DeFi wallet like MetaMask that connects you to blockchains such as Ethereum, Solana, Binance Smart Chain, and Polygon. You're also going to need the native token of the blockchain like ETH, SOL, MATIC, BNB, and it could also be useful to have some stable coins as well, like USDC or DAI, since they are pegged to the US dollar and are hence not volatile. You can easily buy these at centralized exchanges like Wazirx and CoinDCX and transfer it to your MetaMask. What's really interesting is that unlike the traditional finance ecosystem, DeFi users are not required to give up any of their personal information while interacting with DeFi protocols. You may be wondering, what are the risks here? So while all this may sound really utopian, the truth is that the technology is not fully ready yet and DeFi users are exposed to frequent rug pulls. In November 2021, it was estimated that DeFi users lost $10.5 to hacks and scams over the preceding two years. Despite its current imperfections, large institutions are looking to deploy some serious capital in this space. The barbarians are at the gate, and this may just be the beginning of a massive DeFi wave. I'll see you next week.